Hey, hope you're having a great day. So I'm going to show you how to set up your brand kit in Canva if you're going to be using the typical Century 21 brand. So first things, uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to head over to canva.com just to get yourself set up and where you need to be. And over on the left hand side of the screen, as long as you've got the premium account, you're going to head over to your brand kit. So click on that. Um, we already have ours all set up. So that's why you're seeing all of this here. Um, typically when you start out, it's gonna be blank. So in order to add in your logos, you're gonna need to have your logos. Um, if you don't already have them saved on a file on your desktop or somewhere where you know that they are, it's time to start gathering them. So put them into a file, either on your desktop in Google Drive, put it into your downloads just for a little bit, just so you can pull those into there. Cause when we click, the plus button. Um, it's going to just give you the file finder folder, if that makes sense, where you can pick from your downloads, your desktop and all those sorts of things. Uh, if you don't already have the logos, I'm going to show you where to get them. But uh, we'll start off simple and just start inputting your brand colors first. So down here, if you want to input a color, you hit the little plus button and you type in the code that you would like to have. So for example, our gold, you'd want to type in this code, BFB18B. For our gray, we're using this, the hashtag 707070. For the white, this is what we're using. And we also use this color of gold as well, the C9, oh, C9BB93. So some of our fonts are not accessible through Canva itself, but Canva allows you to upload your fonts. So the three types of fonts that uh, Century 21 as a brand uses are Type Old, uh, Barlow, and Oaks. So they have given us a way in, uh, to download these fonts for free by accessing it through our resource center. So if you haven't accessed our resource center before, I'm going to show you what to do. So you're going to open up a new tab. I'm just going to make sure I am still sharing my proper screen with you. Yep, looks like it. So I'm going to move this over here. You want to make sure that you are signed into your Century 21 Google account. So mine is kiana.jansen at century21.ca. Um, if you are somebody else, don't sign into that one. Sign into your own, and then we will be good to go that way. So once you're signed in, you're going to hit this, what they call the waffle. So it kind of has those nine dots up at the top and you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom until you see resource center. Click that. It's going to take you in through a series of logins. You just want to keep logging into your Century 21 and it's going to bring you over here. So I just want to make sure I'm still sharing the proper screen with you. Yep, looks like it. Awesome. So go over to the section that says social brand and promo. Click on that. You're gonna scroll down till you see your C21 brand and then click learn more. Then we're gonna scroll down again to brand materials and templates. Learn more again. So now it's going to give you access to a ton of different things with your C21 brand. So this right here is gonna take you to the Google Drive. It houses all of the branding materials. So you're able to download them to your computer and use them as you wish. So once you clicked where we were before, the your C21 brand, you're gonna hop over to the Google Drive that it opened up for you. I'm just going to make sure we are still sharing the screen. Yes, we are. Perfect. So we're going to go over to the third folder on the right, brand materials and templates. Then you're going to click brand graphics and elements. It is the second over. And here is where you can start downloading a ton of different things that are C21 branded. For example, all of our seals, um, if you're using it for online use, click the PNG. If you download an EPS, unless you have Photoshop, it will not open for you. If you download a PDF, you cannot play with that in Canva. Canva only allows for JPEGs and PNGs. 
So over here, you get the three different types of seals. But the reason that we're over here, the more important part is the typography. So it has all of the downloadable files. What we use for the Century 21 uh, global branding typography is the type hold extended. So you're going to see a ton of different type holds in here. If you wanted to get exact, just shoot me an email and I will let you know about the fonts that we're using for different types of things. So what I start to do is in order to get it into my brand kit, you right click and you press download. Right click, press download. You don't need to open these files. You don't really have to do anything with them in the drive itself. You just start downloading whatever ones you want. If you know that you only want type old extended medium, because that's the one that we use all the time, just click that. If you want them all, download them all. So the main ones again are type old. You're going to download the Oaks. So same process here, right click, press download, go over here. Same for Barlow. Barlow is what you use more so in a paragraph. Right click, download it, and then we're going to head over back to Canva. So just want to make sure we are still sharing proper screen. Awesome. So because I've already downloaded a bunch, my upload of font symbols at the very bottom. So all you're going to do is click on that. I don't think you can see my downloads as when I'm on Zoom and it opens up my file finder. I noticed my file finder isn't popping up for you guys. So if you can't really see what I'm doing and you need some more clarification, shoot me an email. Happy to hop on a call with you and take a look. But right now I'm in my file folder because I just downloaded all those fonts. They're all accessible in my downloads. I hold the control button and I, while I'm holding down on control, I click every single font that I just downloaded that I want to be uploaded. Then I press open. Then you have to click this. Please confirm the following. By uploading my custom fonts, I acknowledge that I'm the owner of these fonts and have the rights to use them. C21, they don't own the fonts, but they have the rights to the fonts. And because they provided it to you, you are safe. You're good to go. Yes, upload away. If you were on like, a, there are such things, believe it or not, as pirating sites for fonts. So sometimes you can get fonts illegally without paying for any of them. I don't recommend doing that just because if you are a realtor, sometimes people are watching your marketing, they're watching what you're doing. So just make sure that you're always using things that are legal to use. If you're using Canva and you've paid for the premium subscription, all of the fonts that they provide to you are absolutely free for you to use. So go for it. So I've just uh, downloaded those. So now you're going to notice that they are available when you start working in your design. When you type in add a font, you can just search type old, you can scroll down, look through them all, and that's how you get there. Um, for uploading your brand logos, it's the same thing. You just make sure that it's in your downloads and then upload it the same way that you just did for the fonts as well. So that's basically your brand kit and how you go together and set that up. Um, once you've got your uploaded fonts, you can pick which fonts are typically used for your headings, your subheadings, so on and so forth. You don't have to make them your heading font every single time. You can change anything at any time within Canva. It's really versatile that way. So if you notice you're not really liking type old extended as much, even though the company, company uses it all the time, you want to try type old extended medium or type old bold, go for it. So that is your brand kit. Also, I'm going to share with you um, what to do when you are I'm just going to create a design. We'll start with a Facebook post. While you're in a post itself, if you need to change any of the colors, just select something and you're going to see this little color graph up here. Click on that. That's when you'll notice these are your brand colors that you can use at any point. This says document colors and this says new color. So this is where you can go in and start to type in your own codes. For example, if you wanted it to be the specific off-white that we use, it's 70070070. Oh, just kidding. That's the gray that we usually use. But either way, you can type them in that way. Um, you can just go into your color wheel if you like the color that uh, we have, but you want something close to it so it's a little bit different. You just start scrolling along, and it will change that color for you. Once you've clicked out of that, if you would like to have some text and you don't want it to be white, same thing. You go over to this little color wheel 
and you can click different ones. If you want it to be the exact same color as something else in your document, you're gonna go over to document colors. So if there was, for example, a photo in there, we'll just put this in there right now because it was right there and easy for me to grab. Um, what Canva does is it usually grabs those colors see and it will have photo colors so if you notice that there's something in the photo that you really liked and you want to get the same color so it's really appealing to the eye you know fonts are the same color as the graphics and things like that it'll pull up all of the colors over here for you so you don't have to um, go through the color wheel and try and guess which one it's going to be it really helps you out that way so that is setting up your grand brand kit and playing around with fonts and colors so this is where you could drop down and you can see all of your fonts. There's recently used branded fonts, uploaded fonts, and then it goes into popular fonts and all fonts, so on and so forth. So hope that was some helpful information from you. And uh, if you need anything else, just give me a shout and I am happy to help. And I hope you have a great day. Take care. Bye.